Yo, what's up? Max here. I'm sitting here with our head strategy coach, Nikita. And in this video, we'll be talking about why you don't need a coaching degree in order to build a successful online coaching, consulting, service providing business. Have you ever wondered whether there's more to life than a boring dead end nine to five job? Have you ever dreamed about breaking free, you know, traveling the world, making good money and just enjoying life? No more office dress code, no morning commute, no boss. This channel is for you. So here's to your freedom. Nikita, you're uh, in very frequent touch with our clients just as I am. And uh, we have a couple of client stories to tell you, but what you gotta understand is the most important point right off the bat, it's a big mistake to learn the skill of coaching first, yeah. right? What do we hear most people say even when they get on a call with you? What do they say? Oh, but don't I need to study and get a random coaching degree first, right? Exactly. It's actually the biggest mistake that all these people have. You know, they think they have to have kind of, first of all, the skill, right? And at some magical day, they'll be able to market that. Yeah, right? exactly. They hope for this kind of day. Wow, now I'm a coach. So they all feel, hey, I'm not ready to be a coach. I'm not ready to be a consultant. They kind of wait for all the day and then they never start. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, right? So it kind of, so there's two main problems with that, right? Number one, they think they need to learn the skill of coaching. Yeah. And number two, they think they need to get a degree, mm. like a piece of paper that is on the wall that says, you are a coach, you know? Mm. And that is kind of funny because that, the, the problem is it takes months, probably even years to get a coaching degree, mm. right? Now, what do you do during these months and years? You pile up probably a lot of money. If you're in the States, it costs you a lot, a lot of money. Um, number two, you're wasting a lot of time. Okay, so you're sitting there getting to know the coaching skill and you're not getting paid. You learn nothing about marketing and sales, by the way. Yeah. This is the great, we'll get to that in a second. And most importantly, it's a waste of time. Okay, because also clients don't care about that. And at the end of the day, theoretical knowledge about how to coach someone doesn't help you. Okay, the, the, what you gotta understand is online coaching, online consulting, uh, online service providing a little less, but most importantly online coaching and online consulting, it's a people business, okay? You can't learn as much about people in a theoretical book than by actually talking to people, actually coaching them, right? That theoretical knowledge doesn't get you very far in the out there or in the real life practical world. Now all these people that basically get theoretical knowledge, right? They learn all these things, but they never really need it. Uh, because yeah. at the end of the day, they spend no years or months yeah, to learn how to, yeah, how to basically coach or, cl or serve a client now, mm -hmm. but yet they never actually did it. Yeah, yeah exactly. Because actually every coach had, had one situation where he had to start. Uh, the first situation where he had to coach a person, uh, like a real person now, right? And you can, in the end, you can only learn it by actually doing it. I mean, how was it with you when you started coaching? Yeah, exactly. I know I've, I've, my first business that I'm in, that uh, dating advice business, I've, I'd never got a degree in how to coach people. And God beware, no book could have prepared me for the real world. Yeah. Because, you know, I remember sitting down for, on my first tour where I would coach people. And then later on, I transitioned into online coaching. I remember sitting down with all these different kind of people coming from different social backgrounds, different language backgrounds, different countries, different social norms. And you know, one person would be, would respond very well to, to me being very harsh. So it's like, yo, wake up, you gotta do this, right? And they'd be like, yeah. And then I would think like, oh great, that's how it goes. People are like, when I'm harsh to them. And then I would do the same to that. And that person would just completely shut off. So that another person would more respond to something positive, a positive reinforcement by being nice. And again, like this is just a tiny little example of understanding different people and different styles of coaching only from real life experience. Now here's the most important point. You think you're doing your clients a service by attaining a coaching degree, by reading tons of books and attending lectures and whatnot about theoretical knowledge about, about how to coach someone. You're actually doing them a disservice. Because again, that theoretical knowledge doesn't do anything. You can sit down, we have a guitar over there, you can sit down on a computer and, and read about playing guitar and watch YouTube videos and, and attend courses and whatnot. But at the end of the day, you still need to put that guitar, take it in your hand and play. Like you can read everything about the perfect amount of pressure your index finger has to put on that E string and then the perfect vibrato that you can create. Like you can read the theory, you can understand it, you can be the master of it, you can reiterate it on, a, on an exam and ace that exam and make, get an A on it. At the end of the day, I give you a guitar, you would not know what to do because it has to, it has to 
be implemented. Muscle memory, right? You need real life experience. So again, you're not doing your clients a service, you're actually doing them a disservice. And also, this is something I would like you to talk about. The client doesn't care whether or not you have a degree. Yeah. Yeah. What do clients care about most? Results. Yeah. All they want to see, hey, does this person, is this person able to help me or not? Mm -hmm. That's all what it's about, right? And in order to really get the person from A to B, you, know, you don't even need 10% of the knowledge that's out there. Right? Exactly. You just need to know, okay, what is, what is the problem of the person and then how can I solve that problem? That's all it is. Exactly. Like we can see that with, with our clients too. So when we teach our clients how to build their own successful online coaching businesses, they're barely anybody of them has a, a coaching degree. I think none of them has a coaching degree. Some of them have a degree in their expertise. Yeah, I just want. One, one has a degree yeah. in their expertise currently, but none of them has a degree in the skill of coaching. Yeah. And they're still able to deliver results. They're still able to communicate that to their prospective clients that they're able to result simply because they have the expertise, the real life experience, which is all the clients care about. And they're still able to sell that and make money. Okay, we've had clients that, that made their first client $1,000. We've had people that charged $2,000 and made that with their first clients already without a coaching degree, without an official piece of paper that tells you that you're a coach. Now, so we've kind of established now, um, it is not important to have a coaching degree. It takes a very, very long time to get a coaching degree. Time where you're wasting a lot of time, where you're getting no practical experience and uh, the clients don't care, your prospective clients don't care. So what is it then? What is the most important thing that you need to know when it comes to coaching, online coaching, online consulting, online service providing? That's the following. Number one, build an online coaching, online consulting business around your expertise. Again, by expertise, I mean real life experience. Now, how do you do that? Number one, you pick a proper niche. You niche down and you position yourself properly in that. You learn basic skills in marketing and sales so you can get clients. And now you have your first clients and what's happening now? Now, as you have that business, you get real life experience as you're coaching your first clients. You can even charge them less in the beginning just because it's a test client. Um, now you're getting real life experience. Now you're already getting paid. So you're not wasting your time, which is wonderful. And most importantly, you can refine your coaching skills always later, always while you're already having clients, while you're already having the business, while you're already getting paid. How amazing is that? Yeah, you're not wasting time, you're not wasting money, uh, you're not waste anything. Right? Yeah, exactly. And that's a great thing. So again, like if you compare these two things, okay, go get a coaching degree, don't have any real life experience yet, don't get any clients yet, don't get paid and waste a lot of time. Or build a business with your real life experience, serve your clients already, get paid already, hone your skills in the real world out there, Right? And most importantly, again, you can always later on refine your coaching skills. Yeah. If you already have a coaching business, you're already making four figures a month, sure, by all means, go get a coaching degree if you really want one, if you really think you want one. Go get one, but you're already getting paid, you already have clients. You can implement and practice it right away with your client. How amazing is that? Yeah. And most important skill, yeah, learn how to sell. Uh, one of the most important skills because if you can't sell, I mean, there will never be a person working together with you because you're not able to convince the person that you're the real expert, right? Yeah. So learn to sell uh, because without it, it's just impossible to build any business. Exactly. Who was that? I can't remember who it was who said, nothing in this world happens without something being sold. Warren Buffett? I think it was Warren Buffett. I mean, we're not going to misquote anybody here, but it could be. Nothing in this world happens without something being sold. We live in a capitalistic society. I keep saying that over and over again. Nothing in this world happens without something being sold. The thing is too, there's tons of certified coaches out there that have God knows how many coaching degrees. They don't make any money. They may be the, well the, the, the best certified coaches out there, but they're not the best paid. Yep. Okay? The highest certification doesn't equal the highest pay. And there's a bunch of people out there, literally including me, who've never gotten a coaching degree, who are amongst the highest paid coaches in that niche though. So the question is, what do you want to have? Do you want to have a bunch of degrees hanging on your wall, patting yourself on the shoulder? Or do you want to have enough money, enough wealth that allows you to be free, to do what you want, to be financially independent, to not have to report to a boss, to not have to commute, etc., etc. Right? And again, the, the skill of selling is one of the most important skills that kind of goes along with building your own coaching business, serving your first clients, etc. Now, we do all that with our clients. So anybody that is in our programs learns the most important parts of picking their niche, uh, finding their strength, positioning themselves in a niche market properly, marketing themselves properly, sell, 
get their first clients. We have people that have zero prior experience. They get their first clients. Yeah. It's great. They start making four figures a month. It's great. At some point, they can, they can literally do that while being uh, still employed. Some of them still have jobs on the side and they're like, cool, can't wait for me to make enough money so I can just say goodbye to my little job. And they can transition to that, it's almost no risk. Yeah. It's really, really great. Well, so again, on the other side, we also have also certified coaches yeah, that, has, that have no idea uh, what, how to market themselves, how to position themselves, how to get clients. Because what they do is they, they, have, this, they have the certificate now, you know, they open their practice now somewhere in the city. You now they hope clients coming in, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. But nothing's coming. Nothing's coming. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's exactly what, of course, also a certified coach will learn here as well. Yeah, how to actually get clients, yeah, how to find your USP, your strengths, and of course, also, also how to really yeah, find your ideal customer. Exactly. It's that simple. So when you say, I'm ready, I'm ready to crush it, I'm ready to build my own freedom business, I'm ready to become self-employed, become my own boss as an online coach, online consultant, or online service provider, and all you have to do is click that link down in the description below and it brings you to a page and on that page you can book a free consultation call either with me personally or with Nikita or with an expert from my team. Now again, you click that link, it brings you to a page. Read what's on that page because there's really important information on that page. Some people try to skip that. Read what's on that page because it already gives you tons of value and can really, really help you. And then on the bottom of that page, there's the button where you can book the exact date and time where you want us to call you. It will be an entirely for free call even if it's international. Now that's especially important if you already have a skill Right? You have some sort of skill, you don't quite know how to monetize it yet, you wanna start making real good money, then obviously give us a call, we can help you do that. And uh, it's also important though, if you don't have any skill yet, right? Uh, you've had many people that you've analyzed their strengths and said, hey, this is actually something that you can monetize very well with the right positioning, et cetera. So if you don't know quite yet what it is that you wanna do in terms of online coaching, consulting, service providing, give us a call nonetheless, we'll analyze your strengths, we'll get you started. Anything else? Talk to you soon. Talk to you very, very soon. Oh, one more thing. This video has been a complete waste of your time. Okay, I keep saying that Nikita and I have been wasting your time unless you take action. Time is ticking. Time is the only thing that we only have very limited amount of. Okay, so take advantage of your own time. Take action. Maybe talk to you very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching at GGE.